everyone? It's Charlton. All right, there were uh, there were there were protests throughout the country of Tunisia, which is a s small country in North Africa, and it's as the result of there's uh, there's Tunisia right there. There's Libya, Algeria, Morocco, Egypt. You know, here's uh, Europe. Tunisia's right there, and um, it was after on Monday. A journalist from there did a did a live stream announcing that he was going to he was going to set himself on fire to you know in and and, and and try to create a revolt a revolution calling on the youth or calling on the people of Tunisia to rise up in protest of the economic conditions there it's a very very poor nation and I believe he lives in one of the poorest cities of Tunisia where unemployment is 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 terrible and also calling the fail uh, calling the Arab Spring you know the promises that were that were made over the Arab Spring uh, you know were never delivered and um, calling on for basically for more you know and I never even realized that the Arab Spring actually began in that country from something very similar I had no idea of this this was this shocked me to learn this was started from something similar like this it was just one incident a street vendor literally setting himself on fire to uh, in protest and and it just spread throughout the entire Middle East um, but so there is a live stream of him I believe this is it and it says posted on YouTube according to this you know um, this article here is uh, it's an ABC a ABC uh, Australian outlet. You know, uh, in a live stream posted to YouTube, the 32-year-old urged young people in po poverty-stricken city of Kazarine to rise up against escalating unemployment rates and poor living conditions. And there's the dude right there. His name is Aberzak, Aberza, Abderzak uh, Zorgwi. And, um, you know, I believe this is the actual live stream. You know, it's like six and a half, this is almost seven minutes long. It's just like a live stream. At first, he's just he's just on there, waiting for people to you know join the live stream and stuff. And then he starts to make his announcement, you know, and get get into it. And he tells tells that he's he's gonna he's gonna do this, and and he actually does do it, you know. And there's there's video of him, of 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 when it happens. Here he is saying, you know, and they translate in this one. واحد بالشعر روحي معناتها بي وكان يخدم واحد في جرتي ما يسيلش انا اي مين ذس از اكشلي يو نو ذاتس از ات اي مين ات شوز اند هي دايز هي دايز فروم ذس So I believe his I believe his funeral was today, you know, and so protests did spread from from one city to the next in in Tunisia, and as a result, there were um, you know conflicts, uh, confrontations with police, and people were arrested. This is CBS. Uh, Tunisian authorities have arrested 18 people during protests that erupted after the death of journalists who set himself on fire to protest economic problems in the North African nation. 13 were arrested in this provincial city of Kazarine, where he's from, I believe, and which is one of the poorest cities in Tunisia, and five others in Taborba, near Tunis. Interior Ministry spokes spokesman Sofiane Zag said, clashes being po between police and Tunisian authorities took place in several regions over the past two days after journalist Abder Zak Zorg, we posted a video online before his self-immolation in Kazarine, describing his desperation and calling for revolt. He expressed frustration at unemployment and the unfulfilled promise of Tunisia's 2011 Arab Spring Revolution. For the sons of Kazarine, who have no means of subsistence, today I start a revolution. I am going to set myself on fire, he said in the video. Uh, the most violent protest protests took place in Kazarine in west central Tunisia, where police used tear gas to disperse stone throwing demonstrators. And uh, you know, 
obviously it's um, you know pretty pretty extreme. I, I just was really shocked to just see the calmness with which this person is is saying what they're about to do, and then actually goes through with it and does it. It's 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 very it's hard to understand, you know. And he's literally just sitting there waiting for people to join his live stream. He's only 32 years old. And then he does it, you know. But like I said before, it I, I didn't realize, I was reading this article here. It says, self the self-immolation of a street vendor in Tunisia late 2010 in a protest that, uh, protest that police harassment sparked Tunisia's revolution and the Arab Spring uprisings across the rest of the region the next year. Kazarine is one of the first cities to rise up after the death of the vendor, Mohammed uh, Bouazizi, in protests where the police killed demonstrators. The unrest spread across the country and led to the overthrow of a longtime dictator, Zin al-Abidin Ben Ali. I don't know... Um, you know, I, I don't follow Tunisian politics. Obviously, I'm familiar slightly with the Arab Spring, and um, yeah, that's just crazy. I don't know. بس نشعلها واحدة في الشعر الروحي مع ب وكان يخدم واحد في جرتي ما يسيرش. You know, it's just hard to understand. I mean, I uh, I don't know. It's just it's just really um, just shocked me. Read just learning of the story. I quickly saw a mention of it on Fox, and so it made me uh, look it up. Crazy, and uh, I don't know. You know that the last time that the, I don't think any expected anybody expected what followed the street vendor setting himself on fire to, to, you know, to happen. So, you know, who knows what will come of this, but that is the story there, man. All right. Thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like down below. I'll see you in the next video later, man.